I'm Sai Jitana. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech. In today's video, I'll try to uh, do the Anoto benchmark test on this IQ R7 device after the recent update. So, just today, friends, I did receive the update in this phone, and the update, which is a size of 143 MB, as you can see here. So, let's see, friends, after the recent update, is there any improvement in terms of the performance or not? So, that is what I'm trying to test by using the Anoto benchmark test in this phone. So, I did the before Anoto benchmark test on the day one itself and i took the screenshot so which is a day one results so six lakhs ninety nine thousand so that's a close to seven lakh score we got on the day one so let's see friends after the recent update after installing plenty of applications in the phone so is there any uh, kind of change or not that is what i'm trying to see in this uh, test completely so let me even show you the exact model what i'm trying to use so you know exactly what kind of ram so 8 gb ram i'm trying to use and 128 gb model and the extended ram uh, feature is right now enabled as you can clearly see and the refresh rate i'll try to choose the smart switch so let me try to select automatical only smart switch as you can see and now let me try to open the android benchmark application and let me try to start testing and let's see uh, what will be the temperature it will try to reach and right now it's 50 percent brightness and let's take the temperature 36 37 at the moment it's not much 37 so in case if you enjoy this kind of content so make sure to hit that subscribe and don't forget to check the links in description friends so there's a special link available for each and every smartphone so which i'll be trying to post in the in links in description below try to click that link and it will take you to this page where you can access all the videos for each and every smartphone which i reviewed not only that even for the live wallpapers what i'm using so you'll get that link and try to follow the playlist and which will you can there you can see all the videos related to the iq7 as you can see all these videos will be available so try to follow this kind of method and make sure to check the links in description for that so let's see friends what will be the scores whether the score will increase or decrease so that is what i'm trying to see in this kind of test so this is a day two which i'm trying to do the anodo benchmark test in this iq7 smartphone so this kind of testing i'll try to do every day so if possible so if you like it to test to uh, just to know the performance of this phone how it's uh, behaving from uh, day to day and during all this kind of testing, I'll try to use only common settings like 50% brightness and smart smart uh, switch as well. So this is what I'll try to test in every every time when I'm trying to do. So again, I'll be back once the Android benchmark test has been completed and we can discuss about the temperatures and how much the score as well. As you can see friends, after the Android benchmark test results in this IQ7. So right now the score got increased friends. It's right now above 7 lakh score that's a really good advantage i think definitely there's some kind of improvement i think so but i, I cannot uh, trust 100 percent this another benchmark test results but just uh, as a comparison with the previous you can definitely see an improvement so let me try to take the screenshot i've taken the screenshot and i'll try to write down some kind of thing like after update day two of usage so definitely the performance uh, feels kind of uh, good so this is kind of one of the positive thing in this phone so let's see friends in the future how the phone will be able to manage this kind of level of performance even after long time of usage so seven lakhs uh, benchmark is really good thing friends uh, i think at the moment i do have only few phones which can actually reach this kind of seven lakhs benchmark i think only one phone which is a mi11 which has snapdragon 8088 processor so after that i didn't see this kind of seven lakhs performance in any smartphone not even in the mi11x as well but uh, this is the second smartphone which i'm having right my right now in my collection which crossed the uh, seven lakhs you can see the cpu and the gpu performance levels and all the details as you can clearly see friends and again, I'll be back in the next video with a unique kind of comparisons and unique kind of testing on this IQ7. So make sure to comment below what are your thoughts about this kind of testings and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe and do check the playlist every day for more uh, latest videos and latest updates on this IQ7 smartphone. So again, I'll be back friends uh, in the next video and see you in the next video. Until then, bye.